Wink. Minion in, I decided to do a little project to determine which method of leveling was better, straight kill grinding or region quests. To determine this, I went with a scientific method, straight comparison, a race, if you will. For the purpose of this experiment, I have created two human mages and ran them all the way through to the progression wall, requiring them to be level 19, without doing any side quests to save time. They are in exactly the same place progression-wise. Both of them just hit level 14. Their gear score is like 5 to 6 points apart. These two heroes went head-to-head -head for us. Mage Minion on the Taleos server went with the straight killing method. His progress was solely reliant on stuff that he beat up, not including world bosses because those count as region quests. Mage Leandra on the Lumena server did no such thing. Her focus was 100% region quests, running from one to the next and doing my best not to kill anything non-quest related in between. I also queued her for arena dungeons at around level 15. She was only allowed to kill grind when no region quests were available, and that can happen because sometimes they take two hours or more to respawn. I decided to avoid reputation quests altogether because they don't give experience aside from the actual kills, and that's Mage Minion's department. These mages are absolute equals, same build, same everything. As this race progresses, upgrades will drop and gear scores will fluctuate, that's part of the natural process, I'm okay with that. Each mage did their grind for exactly 5 hours. I did not stop the timer for anything that could be considered naturally progression related including rest stops at soul pyres, agonizing over gear, dumping inventory, or bathroom breaks. In the end, this race provided a much better idea about optimal level progression in Bless Unleashed. Watch it until the end of this video to get the results. Mages, start your engines. Oh my god, that was brutal. I never want to see another hippo as long as I live. I don't enjoy a grind, so 10 hours was a bit rough for me. But I have to admit, if you stick with it for a while, you end up getting a kind of runner's high or like a state of zen. I'm pretty sure my sanity did not remain intact. Somebody stole my pants. The results are in. Leandra, whose primary focus was on region quests, hit level 16 almost exactly at the 5 hour mark, ending the race with a gear score of 588. Minion, who did nothing but beat up hippos, was well into level 16 when the 5 hour mark hit, with a gear score of 533. This shows that if you're going solely for XP in order to reach a certain level to allow story progression, mindless grinding is the far superior method as much as I hate to admit it. Region quests offer better rewards, so for normal leveling, it's good to keep those in the mix. Here are some very useful things that I have learned. Grind kills are best done killing enemies of your exact level. The more you deviate from your level, the higher the XP reduction. I'm not talking gear score, I'm talking actual levels here. My level 14 mage killing level 20 mobs was getting about just over a thousand XP per kill. Level 16 mobs gave me about 1.2k, level 15's about 1290, and level 14s at the same level as my mage were giving about 1.3k. If you're going to grind it out, this is super helpful information to have. There are exceptions, like the elephants in the Null Wastes give higher XP than their level normally does. But out of all the enemies I've tested in the 14 to 16 range, nothing beats hippos and Azus poachers. When you start your grind, try out a few different mobs in the area to see which gives the highest XP before you settle in. World boss XP is not worth it unless you have the region quests to kill them. Their actual kill XP is very low, but the region quest XP can yield in the tens of thousands. Region quest respawn times are terrible. You may run out and find yourself not getting new ones for several hours. Some world bosses only spawn quests once a week, some every three days, some daily. You just kind of have to keep an eye out. So as much as I'd like to say pure grinding is unnecessary, it really isn't. Arenas are absolutely useless when it comes to grinding. They're worth doing once, and that is when you have the quest that sends you in. 
Even after arena bosses were patched to give 200% experience, the amount of experience they get is equal only to about 2 or 3 normal mob kills in the outside world. And the amount of time it takes to kill them plus loading screens makes it absolutely not worth the effort. In addition to that, the gear score required to beat these arena bosses is significantly higher than the score of the gear that these bosses drop. So there's very, very little chance of advancement. My advice based on the results of this test, arenas are an absolute waste of time. I'm probably not going to do another big experiment like this for a while. It'll take me some time to recover from the trauma of 10 hours of straight grinding. But I will be doing other content in the meantime, so look forward to that. I will see you next time. Minion out.